Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We've got some new photos, some very interesting photos that we need to talk and theorise about. Also, we've got a synopsis for The Flash's final episode of the mid-season. It's a two-part episode, so this is just part one of it. And also, we've got the official airing date of Arrow's final episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're first off going to talk about Supergirl and the new photos for Confidence Woman. This is the episode that is coming up this week. So without further ado, let's go on to break down these photos. So the first photo we've got, we've got Lena and she is in the jungle. She's working with... In fact, Andrea, who obviously last episode and the episode before, she was sort of exposed to Kara and obviously it was via William that, yeah, she is some sort of criminal or villain. And especially with the ending scene last episode where she is linked to Leviathan. So I've got a theory because we know that Lena and Andrea were friends and now they're sort of not really getting on that much and they don't have a reason to go to the jungle. I have a feeling this is in flashbacks and I will talk about my theory as to what's going on and what will happen in these flashbacks but i think it's flashbacks okay so we move on to the next photo it's just a closer photo in the leaves some sort of field or some sort of jungle it actually seems like where we have andrea and lena so it seems like andrea falls down a hole because you see this there is some sort of well or like a hole in the ground and lena is looking down she's very scared and it seems like andrea has fallen down she definitely has if you look at this photo so there's a spotlight on her so she's fallen down this hole maybe she's stuck and so this is where my theory comes in she meets some guy down here this guy looks kind of weird he's got like some fire going on in the background i think this is the way that andrea gets her powers so we know that in the comics she is a crasser and in the TV show, we pretty much know that she is that shadow figure that killed that person the other day on a past episode, the Spider-Woman. And then we know that this shadow is returning in this episode. So I think this is a flashback to show how she got these powers. And I think via this guy or where, whatever hole she's in, she's going to get powers. So she's talking to this guy and that's what's going on there. So Lena actually gets down at one point, so I'm not sure what happens between them and why they don't talk for years, because, you know, this season I think it was sort of like a reunion, that's what I got, you know, out of it. You know, they used to be friends in the past and then they hadn't, you know, talked in a very long time. But yeah, so this photo, you know, there's a rope in the background, Lena's obviously climbed down, they're in some sort of jungle and, you know, this is a hole and I think this is where she is getting her powers. Okay, so let's move on to talk about this next photo. We got Brainy and we got Alex. They're in the DEO, you know, just as per normal. It's probably just going to be some sort of conversation about a villain that is happening in this episode. Then we move on to one of my favorite photos. We got Kara. She's in her Supergirl suit, which is a very nice photo, sort of showcasing her suit once again. So she is in the conversation with Brainy and Alex and John as well. So, yeah. Then we move on to the next photo, and it seems like actually William is in the DEO once again. I found it a little bit peculiar how quick, you know, William was introduced to DEO. And I've got this weird feeling about William, and I'll talk about that in a minute once we get to one of these photos. But anyway, so William's here. Kara's in her normal Supergirl stance. You know, she's got her hands on her hips. And we got Brainy as well in the DEO. Then we move on to the next photo, Kara. Supergirl stance again, but her different stance. She's got her arms folded. Williams here as well. They're next to each other, and in the background, you can see on the screen. I think that is Williams' friend, who was Rip Raw last episode. And you know how we ended last episode. Leviathan, the Leviathan lady, was like, "Yeah, deal with Rip Raw." So we know there's a break-in in this episode, and I think that's what's going on here. Then we move on to the next photo. We've got Kara. Just once again. I love this suit and I think these photos really showcase how great it is and yeah it's just a nice photo that they have included it's just Kara she's in the DEO it's probably part of that conversation as well and then we move on to the big photo so this is the one I want to talk about specifically because when I saw this I was like oh my god holy shit so 
I know it may be reaching too far, but like I said in my last review, I totally get the vibe that they're trying to set up William with Kara. So some people disagree with me, some people agree that that seems to be what they're trying to do, and I don't know how I feel about that because I don't think William's actually that good of a character. Like, he was a bit better last week because, you know, he's not just your stereotypical prick because that would have been just dumb. You know, I just think he's a little bit... Mm, he's just not that good. And I don't think Kara would go for him. I think this is... If this does happen, I think it's the writers trying to be like, oh, Kara hasn't been with anyone in, you know, since the end of season three with Monel. You know, let's just get William. Look, he's a he's a strong dude. He's a good-looking dude. You know, let's do that. And I just don't know how that would go. So anyway, the reason why I bring up this photo is because they're touching each other. Obviously, that could just be like a friendly thing. You know, it doesn't have to be anything. But they are getting somewhat close, right? And yeah, I don't know. I just don't get this match. And that's the feeling I get from this photo, is that they maybe are trying to set them up together, and I just don't dig it. Like, I think it would be fine if it did happen. It wouldn't be, like, the worst thing in the world, but I also don't think it's, like, a interesting idea, to be honest, because I feel like it may be a bit forced, because before this, there was no connection at all between them. No sort of, like, back and forth, like, say, Monel and Kara, when they were fighting each other, like... Screw you, Daxamite. Screw you, Kryptonian. There was still a connection there. I haven't felt any connection between them, even when they're going back and forth. And now they're on the same side. I think they're trying to set it up to be like, oh, maybe there is a connection. But I don't feel that connection between the two actors. I think, obviously, Melissa's great. I think William, you know, he's pretty good. I think Staz does a fine job. But I don't think he's that interesting of a character, and yeah, I just don't see the match, to be honest. So let me know your theories and ideas in the comments down below. Do you think this is what they're setting up to do? This photo definitely sort of gives it a hint or two. Okay, so let's move on to Arrow. So they have announced the final episode's air date. So Arrow is obviously in its final season right now. I'm doing reviews week to week. I'm sorry that I missed episode three. Super busy. I explained that in my last video, but I uploaded an Arrow review last night. So go check that out. Anyway, so they've announced that on Tuesday, January 28th, there's going to be a two hour event in which Arrow is going to end so I guess that means two episodes together back to back and obviously it's going to have the return of some big characters we know Felicity's re returning in this episode and also we've got a official premiere date for Legends of Tomorrow which we'll get to in a second but I think it's really good how they are sort of prolonging the ending you know not just ending in December you know because it's only 10 episodes or something like that so I think it's good that they are sort of splitting it over Crisis Alright, let's talk about Legends. So Legends is officially returning for Season 5 on Tuesday, January 21st. So that is a week before Arrow's final episodes. That's going to be at 9, 8 central following a new episode of Arrow. So, you know, the third to last episode of Arrow. So that's interesting that they're putting it at, you know, the 9, 8 central slot. It's going to be on a Tuesday. So what's happening to The Flash? Is The Flash going to be still on a Tuesday or are they changing The Flash from a Tuesday or is it only temporary because maybe The Flash doesn't return from its mid-season finale till like a week later when Arrow's off and The Flash comes back to a Tuesday. I don't know. Something like that may be going on here. But that is about it and let's move on to The Flash now. So like I mentioned at the start of the video, we have the synopsis for one of the parts of the mid-season finale. So the episode is titled The Last Temptation of Barry Allen, love the title, a reference to The Last Temptation of Christ. And this is how it goes, so part one of the mid-season finale. As Barry Allen stands on the threshold of his impending death in crisis, his convictions are tested when the monstrous Dr. Ramsey Rosso infects the Flash with a mysterious hallucinogenic contagion. Meanwhile, reporter Iris West Allen uncovers a vast conspiracy. So. That is the synopsis, this is episode 7, the mid-season finale is going to be episode 8, and then we're going to have Crisis on episode 9, same as last year. So, as Barry stands on the threshold of his impending death, so still expecting his death, 
his convictions are tested when he is infected by Ramsey. So we've seen this and this is very similar to what they're doing in the comics or what they did, sorry, with the negative flash. It seems like he is infected, he is taken over by Ramsey and he's essentially able to control him, sort of, if you've seen Avatar The Last Airbender, sort of like bloodbending, that's my reference. So also we have Iris uncovering a vast conspiracy. I'm not sure what that's about, but I'm guessing it's kind of big if it's, you know, a part of the mid-season finale. But obviously this is a two-part episode, and I think it's really great that we're getting a two-part episode because we haven't had one of those in a long time. I think the last time we had it was in season three with the Gorilla Grodd episode in Gorilla City. So I really like them and I really can't wait for this episode because it does seem really intriguing. And this is going to be the end of Ramsey of blood work. So blood work is going to be destroyed or defeated in part two of this mid-season finale. And this episode was directed by Chad Lowe who appeared in Supergirl season 3 many times, he also has directed a few episodes of Supergirl, so that's very exciting to see, I do trust him as a director. This is going to be on November 26th, so the week after will be The Last Temptation of Barry Allen Part 2, which will be in December, and that's the episode before Crisis Begins. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.